Welcome to Chad Hates Carbs. Today we're going to make a carb quick pound cake. Uh, should be pretty cool, so let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have a dusted, I have this dusted with oat fiber. Uh, just sprayed some oil on there and then dusted it with oat fiber. Uh, zero cal, uh, all fiber. Um, nice little uh, way to uh, protect our pan so that it doesn't stick. We're going to take three and a half cups of the uh, carb quick where you've got one and a half cups of Splenda, which is the sucralose. I, mean, I of course use the generic Walmart brand because I'm cheap. Uh, then we use uh, three quarters of a cup of butter, uh, melted. We're gonna get some eggs here. We got six whole eggs and I already beat them up. So they will be mixed in here as well. It says we want to put this on low on our KitchenAid. Oh, can't forget the uh, can't forget the cream cheese. This is a whole package of cream cheese, eight ounces, uh, softened. Um, and uh, you got to be careful with the butter and the cream cheese when you microwave them to soften them because they'll happily burn. Normally, you only need 30 to 45 seconds. Um, if you put it on for say a minute, which is what I did, um, they get a little cranky. So, at any rate. So we're going to take these, we're going to stick this over in our KitchenAid, and I'll come back whenever we've got it all mixed up. So after four minutes of beating this stuff together, it's very uh, smooth, much more smooth than it was than it started out. I guess I don't need that timer on anymore. I was timing it because you need to do four minutes is what it says. So um, anyway, uh, four minutes. I believe the goal here is texture. You want it to be fairly smooth. But uh, the idea at this point is to, well, right now, obviously, I'm going to try to get this all off of here. Um, just set that right there. All right. So now we're going to take and spoon this into our greased up pan this all kind of scraped off the edges here. I'm just going to get that dumped into our pan. It's kind of weird making a cake when it smells like biscuits. <laughs> it smells like biscuits. I drive my wife crazy because I try to get all of the stuff out of the pan like this when I'm making it, making something. Nope. Spread it around here, make it look at least somewhat kind of even. So there we have it. It's not, um, okay, so that's what we got. It doesn't even come to the halfway up, but it's about halfway up. So we're going to slap it in here and it says 55 to 60 minutes or until toothpick inserted near center comes out clean. So 55, 55 minutes. And we'll be back in a while. That's 55 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check it out. See what it looks like. Looks good. So at this point we want to, it says, uh, cool five minutes, turn pan upside down. So we will let it cool and uh, we'll come back and try it in a few minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Let's go ahead and turn this, turn this out and hope that it 
Let's hope that our coating works. bottom but I think that's why you let it sit. So we're going to let it sit and uh, we will let it cool off and we'll try it in a minute. Okay so this is cooled down entirely. Let's take a look at this guy. There we have it. Actually uh rose fairly well. That's not bad. It's not super sweet at all. Um, Ironically, this is probably the best thing I've made out of carb quick so far. If you put some cream and, you know, some strawberries or something with it, um, some kind of a fruit, maybe even a little bit of a sugar-free jelly, could definitely be a good thing. I would say this is a, this is a solid 8, maybe even an 8.5. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.